We are back with Deborah Gibson. So, did you miss your childhood? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite question. <laughs> I know. Well, you shared We're that with me. just talking in the break. I, yeah. you know. I'm only goofing with you. I did go to my prom, which supposedly makes me normal. <laughs> that, that is, that, that's the barometer, yeah. You and Amy Fisher, Amy, Amy couldn't bring her guy. I don't think she yeah. went to her prom. No. She sat next to my sister in homeroom. My oh, sister really? said, yeah, I always did think it was strange that she carried a beeper in the eighth grade. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, man. Merrick. That's where they Merrick, uh, shot Peyton Place. Interesting place. Yeah, I was going to say. Who'd you go to the prom with, by the way? A guy I was dating at the time. From your school? No, he was he was originally from my town, and then he moved. And he was actually in the business, too. And wow. we kind of re-met up. Because that would intimidate dated. a lot of teenage boys to go out with somebody, you know, who's only got a number one hit or <laughs> five million albums to their the yeah, credit I performing all I never the really, I don't know. I never really felt weird vibes from no? guys. I, I had a relatively normal dating life somehow. I really don't know how, but again, kind of fit it in there. You are the paragon of normalcy. Let's get to <laughs> Jay in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Hi, you're live on Life, Jay. Hi. Hi. Uh, my wife ain't calling me this time. Uh, um... Uh, didn't Tiffany do mall? Yeah, <laughs> Tiffany did the mall thing yeah. while I was doing the club thing. And my question for you is, uh, you used to be called Debbie Gibson. Yes. Um, did you just uh, change your name to Deborah uh, because of a change in your music or something? Actually, even from the very first album, all the writing credits always said Deborah. I, d I always preferred to be called Deborah, but everyone, for some reason, felt more comfortable calling me Debbie, and it did kind of sound young and upbeat and went with the music I was doing at the time. But all along, if anyone called my house and asked for Debbie, we'd know that we did not know them. Because <laughs> Deborah has always been my name and I guess you get, get to a point where you say, hey, I guess if, if you actually print your, the name you want to be called on the front of your album, people may call you it. So Eventually. I'm going for it. <laughs> there you go. That answers it, Jen. Your voice has uh, changed as well. It's mature. Now, uh, I guess, is that just happenstance or did you consciously... Definitely not happenstance. It's, um, you know, a lot of people think, and, and some singers are just natural singers. I mean, I have friends that can roll out of bed and hit Mariah Carey notes. I'm not one of them. It depends studied... how you roll out of bed. <laughs> it's happened to if me. If you stub your toe, woo, you know. Yeah, that's um, it. But <laughs> I actually, if I'm singing on a morning TV show, I have to get up hours ahead of time and do a major vocal warm up. And I've had this. I had one teacher for ten years, and I recently changed teachers because I was kind of stuck in a bit of a rut and, uh, you know, wanted some new input. So I'm a, a, you know, believer in technique and training and all that. So it's definitely not by accident. <laughs> yeah, well, you've worked on it. Yes. Yeah, okay. It's very yeah. apparent in Thank listening you. to uh, the new songs on the CD. Thank For you. Deborah Gibson, to Karen, we go in Toronto. Hi, Karen. Hi, Deborah. I think you look great. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to know if you're thinking about um, expanding your horizons to television or movies. And if you are, uh, what, do you, what would you like to do? It's funny you should ask because um, I've done a bit of TV, I mean, of, like... Sometime in the future, I'd love to do a sitcom when I'm kind of ready to get married and have kids and I want kind of a stable life for five years straight. At the moment, I'm too antsy for that. But I just finished doing two independent films, um, one called My Girlfriend's Boyfriend, kind of a screwball comedy, and the other is called Wedding Band and Dom DeLuise, Mo Gaffney, Kelly Bishop, who was in the original chorus line, a bunch of amazing people in the cast. and. It's kind of different for me because it's a little edgy, a little quirky. There was a lot of improv in it, and um, so that's the kind of thing I like. I like kind of grassroots stuff. It's a very authentic film about a Jewish-Italian wedding uh -huh. and all the zany characters you meet there. And, um, you know, so I, I guess quirky is the word for the kinds of stuff that I like to go see, and I love performing in both those quirky films. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be out sometime in the, in the coming year. Okay. Any titles we should look for? Um, yeah, Wedding Band, well, My Girlfriend's well, yeah, Boyfriend. Okay, yeah. okay. Stop. Got him. There you go. Committed Casey to Casey didn't memory. catch him the first no, time. No, I didn't. You want right, to try right him on third that card. time? <laughs> All right. To Paula we go in St. Catharines, Ontario. Hi, Paula. Oh, Paula. Hey, hey, Paula. Paula fell asleep. Past her bedtime. Oh, uh, well. Not really. Paula, we know you're there. All right. Paula's oh. actually, she's a mute. Call waiting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And she had a more important call. That's right. Now, confirm or deny, I had heard a report that you actually own a piano that once belonged to Liberace. Confirmed. 
Wow. I um, I was a huge Liberace fan. Liberace was the first artist I ever saw in concert. I saw him when I was seven years old, and um, I started working with Baldwin Pianos, and my artist representative was his artist representative and owned one of his pianos, one of his glass and mirrored grand pianos. Wow. And he just said, you know, I think I've had it long enough and it's time to part with it and I'm thinking of giving it to the Smithsonian. I said, give it to the Gibsonian, come uh. on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, forked over a bunch of money and it's mine, it's in my living room. And wow. I love it, it's kind of, I actually recently played the concert venue that I saw Liberace at and carted the piano out with me and it was kind of symbolic of a dream and coming full circle and it was pretty cool. Did pretty you wear cool like a, a flowing sequined robe? I that didn't. That would have completed the whole My picture. My mother you know. tried to get me a cape made but it failed miserably. It didn't look good and I didn't wear it. <laughs> Looked okay on Liberace. It did. He it wears it well but. <laughs> All right let's get out to Weyburn, Saskatchewan and uh, is it Rhiannon? Yes it is. A lovely name. Remember that song Fleetwood Mac? Yes. I don't. That's what that. I'm named from. Really? really? Yes. Um, actually, Debbie, I'm really nervous because I've been a fan of yours for a really, really long time. Don't be nervous. And I totally like, <laughs> I love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and thanks for stupid things, but I, um, I'm a really big fan of yours and I've been for a really long time. And I was wondering uh, if you're going to tour in Canada. And if so, are you coming to Saskatchewan? Um, let's see. I'd like to. Like I said, just I'm doing this... Um, show for Gay Pride in a couple of weeks here in Toronto. Um, I don't know what the summer will bring yet, and I'm going to be back on Broadway in the fall for a while, so if I do tour, it won't be till like next year sometime, but I have great memories of, of touring here, and actually I celebrated, I think it was my 19th birthday, performing in Vancouver. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, uh, the social register is pretty busy. Rhiannon, great call, and we thank you for it from Saskatchewan this evening. Thanks. Okay, hope you'll call again. Uh, we should mention the earliest uh, date available to see Deborah Gibson in Toronto is Saturday, June 28th. One night at the Government, mm -hmm. which is a, a great club, and uh, you'll also be in town tomorrow night. It's kind of a, you're coming back after, tomorrow night, you're in town at the Learning Annex on uh -huh. Markham Street talking about the music business. Right. Because you've learned a lot in, you know, a relatively short span of time and in your young years. Uh, it's at the Anestis, and I guess people can look it up through the learning annex in the book. Exactly. Yeah, and don't forget, too, of course, the CD is Deborah Gibson, self-titled, and uh, she's back at it with a new sound, a new look, and it's great. <laughs> I thank you for coming in tonight. Thank Boy, you, it goes so fun. fast. Yeah, a it lot of fun. It did go fast. We'll do it again. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Thank you. And okay, all thanks. the best. When we come back, a dilemma, and I've got to go to the phones on this one, as is my want, the human condition being my beat, a man who wants to wander around the household.